All right. So we are here with Zach Thompson. Um, I went to the same high school as Zach, but he's a photographer. Uh, I think your biggest strength is that you're just an art supporter and an amazing networker. Um, <laughs> and yeah, at anyone's show, you'll see Zach and like he's taking these amazing photos for, for free and, and just like making connections. <laughs> um, yeah, and you were saying you were doing some apparel stuff and we just were so grateful to have a minute to talk with you. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. I want to uh, know more about you. I mean, you're you're always there and 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 taking pictures of other people and I'm like, I want to know more about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, you know, talk, speaking on like events, I mean, honestly, I just I, you know, being uh, like a still consider, I guess you would say like a starving artist and independent artist myself. Um, I just super find it super important, you know, like support is free. It doesn't cost anything. So for me, it's like, you know, I get to go to a cool event or a cool dinner, you know, that, you know, when my friends is performing and like is the only reason that everybody's there. And like, that's an amazing experience. So if I can also, I have this ability to shoot photos and capture time, if you will. So it's like, for me, you know, one of the best parts of having a skill set of any is the ability to give it away, right? Like, obviously we have to, in this cruel world, we have to make a dollar. So you figure out how to, you know, earn with your, your passions. And if you can do that, it's a blessing. So if you're able to do that, and there's also opportunity to still use that skill set and, you know, give it to someone else or other people, you know, I try to jump on the opportunity. Yeah. Aww. When When did you start <laughs> doing this? uh just photography in general um i'd say i'm probably going on like close to 10 years um maybe somewhere around nine but uh so i i was doing just i was doing graphic design um and i was managing a men's warehouse so i was i don't know if i can say that i was managing a menswear store in case you have to cut <laughs> but i was <laughs> i was managing a menswear store and uh, I met this guy and I was like, I had this, I was doing graphic design on my own custom apparel and had like a t-shirt line of my own that was like my art and just kind of wanted to have a brand. And I had the means to do it, but you know, it doesn't always work out that way. So I started doing graphic design, you know, in general for uh, other business, business to business and things like that. Uh, but in that process, I met a gentleman who was doing web development and I needed that service. And uh, I was introduced to him by a guy that I was selling clothes to at the menswear store. So like the world is crazy that way. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, the That's universe. So, cool. so I'm, and then, and although that guy's a great guy, I don't speak to that. I haven't spoke to that guy in many, many years. The guy that introduced us, but the gentleman that he introduced me to, um, never designed a website for me. And in fact, showed me a camera and encouraged me to shoot photos. So he don't like that. I call him my mentor, but like, there's a lot of times, like almost every time that we've ever been around each other in this creative element that I leave in my life. I'm like, I gotta go learn stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I'm like, I need to catch up. I gotta keep going, you know? So, um, yeah, through that, I just really, really loved it. And, um, wait, wait, wait. Really how kinda... did that come up with him? Like, yeah. <laughs> so we like, got... he was like, you look like a photographer to me. Like, you know, it's so funny. He actually, so, uh, the guy that I sold close to introduced us and we all go to my, my friend's house. His name's Kevin. We all go to Kevin's house and uh, and we sit down and we're in his like creative room and there's like vinyl toys and things like that of all different sorts. And there's like definitely like there's like hip hop art and a lot of things that he's created. I'm like, this guy, I like this guy already. So him and I hit it off really, really uh, quick when it came to like music and we were vibing. And he honestly, he showed me Instagram. I didn't have a Facebook at the time. I actually just got a Facebook in 2018. So, um, wow, good for yeah, you. So, Proud of you. <laughs> and I actually, like, not that I'm better than it, just because I'm just like everyone else to get sucked into it. I try to delete the app as often as possible. Like, I can check it out from a computer and things, but the, the reflex of just opening this thing and reading. So, I, you know, I, I, I get on there when I can. And, but well, anywho, um, <laughs> yeah, so he, he teaches me about Instagram, and I'm like, like babe pig in the city i don't know anything about instagram or like anything he's like yeah so you take photos and i'm like wow you take really great photos and this is all in this one meeting of wow. just introducing myself so yeah so he shows me you know i've been taking photos for a really long time and shows me his work and i was like man i i like this so i was taking photos with my phone and editing them so i fell in love with the the post process before i ever even really 
understood how to work a camera. So mm -hmm. it was like, oh, I can create these visuals that like, you know, that, that are just a, a different, you know, it was just like the very, very like beginning stages of photography. And yeah. then, um, you know, when, once I got a camera that was able to, you know, do a lot more than a, a cell phone, it was, it really kind of just took off from there because my love for like capturing the image or capturing the time and the emotion um, was already like prevalent, you know, when, when it came to having a camera. So it really like my, I would say what, what drives me now is just how to make them better always. Yeah. You know, I just want to like, how is this photo? Like I, I have this problem. That's why I like to print photos because I shoot a photo, especially in this digital age and then it's gone <laughs> and it's just, you know, and, and like, you know, I, I don't like to share everything. I have photos that I've I'll never share, but I still want to enjoy them in some way. And if they're just in a hard drive, then they're doing me no justice. You know, mm -hmm. I can look at photos. The other room actually is, similar but they're all my photos this is a lot of uh just people i admire at work and things like that but um you know the uh on the other side so being able to see your photos in real time and be like okay if i was there now i would have done this differently so mm -hmm. you know it just you know helps me continue to grow and you know i don't know i uh, i'm inspired by light that's what really that's mm -hmm. what makes me want to pick up a camera it's just light i see light and like i'll be driving and my uh my nine-year-old god bless her we'll be driving i'll be like baby look at that light She's like, oh, cool, Dad. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have her taking pictures too? She does actually. This is. Let me show you here if I can. Aww. This is her. Her early stages here. We got. Oh, you know, nice. Classic. So That's awesome. this is cool because you know I I, uh, I personally love the element of these uh, the the Polaroid style photography just because you know there's nothing to it but just pointing and shooting you know and hmm. she. I, I give her uh, you know, tips on like composition and things like that. So Aww. she, uh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah. That's so but speaking, I, speaking of like, who are you all self taught then from that moment on yeah. for the most part? That's incredible. Yeah. Do you do yeah, like YouTube not, videos or how? Do, like, not, ne never for photography. I actually never, never stepped into the world realm of uh, YouTube university until I got in like videography Okay. because there's a lot of post things. But when it came to camera work, um, I mean, talking with, you know, my friend and, you know, bouncing off other photographers, but, um, really the, the way for me to learn was like, I wanted to do a thing. So like, I got to figure out how to go do it. Right. And there was, there's been plenty of nights of like, uh, trying to shoot night photography and capture light streaks where there's no, there's no cars coming by. So I'm like out there with a glow stick and I got a tripod and I'm just like trying to write something <laughs> with this just to see how to get the sharpness. Oh. So that way, when I go to the moment, I can, you know, implement the things that I've you know, picked up so that's super cool <laughs> gosh really how many years has it been now uh I, I would say probably like nine and a half years wow that's amazing it uh, probably I feels like it. yesterday <laughs> it, it does and <laughs> it, it honestly and it feels it feels like i i don't know i you know I just, like I said, my goal is just to continue how to improve these, these, you know, these, and using social media is a hard judgment. You know, it's not like it's, it seems like a platform for, for people to judge like your art and it can be, but like there's a whole, it's just throwing your thing out in this giant ocean as opposed to like a demographic pond, you know? So it's like, you know, I don't really do it for the purpose of like, soup, sorry about that. I don't really feel. <laughs> I don't really. It's I try not to focus. It was cool. <laughs> Zorro. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. No, my, I mean, my, my, I try to remain my focus on just like what makes me feel good. You know, like what, you know, how do how do I shoot it, and how can I make it better for me? Because you know, a lot of times as photographers, we shoot for a photographer. So when another photographer looks at my work, they're going to look at it the way that a photographer would look at it. But you know, when you use you know, the, the, the giant ocean of people and, and, you know, the, the views that way, it's kind of a hard perspective because people love sunsets and like, you know, there's not, you know, there, there's other elements to photography than just the beautiful landscape, you know? So it's just like, if I want to show off this one thing I'm shooting, like there's nowhere for me to show off product photography, which I also shoot, but there's very particulars about, you know, product photography. So it's like, okay, how can I make these better for me? You know, So that's, you know, you said that there's photos that you don't want to share. Like, what? Mm -hmm. What are those? Are they, do they? Is it technique that bothers you, or why don't you want to share them? Um, honestly, sometimes they're just like 
they're too good for me to let somebody else judge. Mm -hmm. If I love, it doesn't have to be technically like the best photo, but there's a photo, if a photo means something for me, then it literally may die without ever being seen by anybody else. Um, if a photo isn't taken well, um, I used to hold a lot of photos so I could learn from them, um, but I never did. I never, I, ne I only learned from the photos that I liked and I would complete, you know? So like I ended up keeping a whole, I have hard drives full of photos that I, you know, will never, like were just not shot well, you know? Uh, whereas nowadays I'm becoming a lot more free with letting things go, you know? It's, um, you know, if, unless I'm documenting a time, to me there's um, a picture and there's a photo, right? Um, and I, I say this often, like a picture for me, uh, it's just documenting the time, you know, grandma was there, uncle Jim was dancing, you know, you guys were at the house, whatever. I'm documenting that people were there. That photo is, is very important for a lot of reasons. Cause when we go to reflect and we look in old photos, we're like, Oh, I remember yeah, I always used to wear that red shirt, you know, see things like that. But if I capture a photo for me, I'm capturing the emotion that was felt. And that's what makes the, Oh my goodness. You know, and if, if it's only a picture of one person, that person knows how the air felt. They know what it smelled like outside. They know if it was warm, if it was cold, there's, you know, there's more of an intimacy in the emotion in a photo versus the memory in a picture. I, I love that you keep some of your art just for yourself, you know, and yeah, yeah. it doesn't always have to be for other people. That's, I think the, that's for your own soul, you know? Yeah, I, you know, I think that's a, it's an easy way to get lost. You know, if mm -hmm. you think, I just have to do it so that people see it. And like yeah. social media, to be successful in social media at any magnitude is to continuously produce content. I'm not very successful with that, um, you know, because I don't, I share when I want to share. Um, I think last night I was on Facebook for the first time in like the week and I was purging an old MacBook. So I just like threw up like a handful of photos and I was like, let me just share these photos. And then like, there's my consistency, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not that good with that algorithm because I believe so much in the other side of like, mm. you know, I, I truly do love photography. You know, I, I enjoy the creation of all things. Um, you know, the videography, even the custom apparel, the graphic design. Um, I think that's also made me a nice stable for business. You know, that's what I do for a living and I do it for myself. So, um, that was you know, the, the ultimate game changer for me, but ultimately my passion is photography. So you are, I mean, you said you're not successful at that, but you are, I think you are because you're living your truth. You know what I mean? Like you're not <laughs> like on there posting and, and you're able to make a living off of it anyway. So that's pretty cool. Um, well, yeah, off the, off of the, off the passion for sure. I mean, off of social media, I've, I've, I've never seen a dollar. I don't. No, no. <laughs> nobody has ever like. Nobody has ever hit like slid in my DMs and been like, "Hey, what's your rates?" And then followed through with it. You know what I mean? So, if for me, and I don't say that uh, any disrespect. It's just like Instagram is a lot of just like they want your photos for your photos. Facebook is more like, "Hey, we need family photos." But I don't get attention from either of them. I'm blessed that I was able to find a way uh, through relationships that. Like, you know, I work for a wedding photography broker company and they do uh, mm -hmm. five services uh, and they get my wedding photos. I don't really shoot weddings for anybody else because they take care of me I take care of them. And it's a, it's a great partnership. I mean, for me, I get to go do the thing I love. I don't necessarily love setting up, you know, trying to run a wedding photography business, but I really love shooting wedding photography for the sake that you get to like, to have a direct effect on you know what is arguably one of somebody's most you know the special you know, the most special day of their life so you know if you can be remembered for you know just being somebody that was there and attentive and like and then you can turn around and give them you know great photos at, like you know a couple months later it's like a an added bonus but i think that there's a lot to be said about being the right kind of person at those kind of events you know and i I'm grateful that I found out on somebody else's dime that, that like, you know, wedding photography is a cool thing for me. You know, I don't, I probably won't do it forever, but I'm grateful for the, uh, just the experience, you know, being able to work on the spot with strangers, being an introvert and having to go like meet somebody like, Hey, I'm the guy that's going to hang out with you for eight hours, you know? And, 
and then also not be a wallflower because you know it's you know I'm a firm believer that you are like a, like the liaison for the the wedding day. There's no reason why a bride should be like stressing out looking for somebody. Give me a second, I'll go find them. You know what I mean? Like, like relax. So, I you got know, this. Yeah, you help her. You help her yeah. get through the day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's, oh. it's like it doesn't. It's not. I'm not cranking up the effort. You know, just trying to be there for. You know, as a be a be a be present, just as an individual. You know, what would I want? I'd want a guy who can like make a joke and enlighten the the mood, and or a lady. You know, whatever the case is. It's just you know, for me, I um, uh, there's there's you know, being present and and with the art is 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 key, and that's what I've gained from wedding photography. But other than that, you know, I've just again, it's relationships that are just kind of formed not through social media, just organically through people I've met and then that's given me the opportunity. And then, you know, it things stem from there, but I've also missed out on opportunities too, but you know, <laughs> you, Wait, you that can, like a, you know? is that a story or no? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, actually, um, many years ago, um, <laughs> many, many years ago, I so bad wanted to reconnect with Shanina, Shanina Thompson. Um, we were good friends in high school and, um, I saw the art that she was doing. It was probably like Embryo 2, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, it was quite some time ago. And uh, I, I wanted to go so bad. And I was, I was dating a girl. <laughs> and I was getting, I was literally driving to Philadelphia. I was like, I'm going to reconnect with my friend. I may have just picked up a camera. And when you just pick up a camera, you just pick up a craft. You want to go do it for people. And so I had all this motivation, right? And I told Janine about this. And... Uh, <laughs> We're, <laughs> I'm heading out to Philadelphia and all of a sudden the girl that I was dating was like, do you really feel like going to this thing? And we all know in a relationship, if the other person says something like that, it usually doesn't end with a fun time at the place you were heading to. So mm -hmm. I busted a Yui, we got some food and I canceled my plan to go make, yeah. So like, you know, and that was, a, I was young. So it was like, I had to learn at, at that, you know, that, that was a life lesson for me to be like, you know, people will always be in the way of things that you want to do, you know? And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and like, it wasn't like my connection with Shanina was going to change my camera life. It, it wasn't my intention at all. It was just to become more in tune with somebody who was doing something that I idolized. She was working at a bank at the time and, and putting this art show together on her own and creating this beautiful art. And I was just like, mm -hmm. those, that's the kind of people that inspire me. You know what I mean? And shout out to Shanina. There's one of her pieces is right there, but, you know, um, you know, for me, uh, you know, and that's why I like saw you. You know, I got on Facebook. I'm new to everybody doing their thing, and I, I see Alexander March, and I'm like, hold on. I remember Alex from school. Let me see what she's got going on. And I was like, oh my god, she has a beautiful voice. So like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna say something to her, and like. But I don't want to like slide in her DM. I just want to say what you're doing oh, is amazing. I, and I, and, like, I have to, I have to tell you right now, like you have a really great way of doing that. Like I not at <laughs> all was I like he's because yeah, it was not at all like creepy or like <laughs> hitting on me or any. I, <laughs> I I genuinely felt supported. Like I genuinely felt that like same um, respect for what you know what we're saying like that portal to the art world you know like yeah, I felt yeah. that and it's I don't I don't know I I probably I don't know how many more times that that's happened where that's the genuine interest yeah. or like someone hits you up because of that like connection um and, and the so world's I so crazy that, that way yeah I mean, I'm glad that it, like my biggest thing is just because it's the the internet can be so disingenuous as you i'm sure you both know Nicole, i know like people oh, are like hey wear this shirt for me you know what i mean there's some <laughs> silly you know what i mean it was like <laughs> look like you're good at you're like you're looking you're good at marketing it's like get out of here with these weird like posts and you know messages yeah. and all that so it was you know i'm glad that it came off that way but yeah it was truly just like and for me i'm like we have crafts that you know i can help mm. maybe you know and not in like a like I can monetize off you. Like I can help because like, right. it's just, it may be a thing that you don't have access to. I know that you have, uh, what's her name? Sarah, uh, your yeah, friend, Sarah. Alderman, yeah. yeah. Beautiful photographer. I actually listened to the podcast uh, the other day, um, well, of her. So, but yeah, like, uh, I, and the photos of your wedding were amazing. So, you know, people have photographers. That's a you know thing, but it's like still just to be like, if you wanted to have a thing, 
Do you, you, know, what I mean? you know what's cool? Like ba- even back in the day, you read about relationships between musicians specifically and photographers. There's always right. like, like Nicole has, yeah. Like there's a unique relationship because I think if you are truly a photographer for like the, the art purposes, you almost like see, you see the deeper level of what we're, what's coming out of us, you know? And, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, not only that, but we need each other. <laughs> we need yeah. each other. I mean, real, tr- truly, because we, we need our visuals to represent our music. So, yeah. Like, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. And you need pe- photographers to, like, go on tour with you and, and do the music videos and do the videos and the photo shoots. So, like, it's just, a, yeah, I think it's really special when, uh, I mean, some of the greatest bands of history or artists, they had their photographers for years that were just right. with them and traveled with them and did everything with them. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I was uh, a good friend of mine. He he makes some beautiful music and um, I actually just put together a, a visual for him because I have this new, like I've just started cinematography and videography this year. So like, um, it's really, and I, I kind of just took off. My goal was like, I'm going to do as much like free projects as I can, because that's how I'm going to get the most experience to be able to say, look what I have, mm-hmm. you know, for when it comes time, you know? Um, but, you know, he's a good friend of mine. I've been a fan of his, his work for, I don't know, maybe 10 years he's been putting out music, maybe more. And literally he's been putting out music for himself. So like, it's just been me that has been like, absor- and like his girlfriend have been absorbing the music. They think I'm like, listen, like mm-hmm. just make it for fun. Mm-hmm. I got these visual concepts that I can create same way. It's, you know, aside from just photography, now I can add some animation, some videography. We can make it fun, cool, whatever. But, um, there's nobody else in your kitchen right now with a camera saying, let me shoot for you for free. <laughs> so let right. me just shoot this video because I believe in what you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, all right. So we put together a project. It actually came out really well, but it's got to, you know, it's not my stuff. I got to keep it under wraps, you know? Okay. Not, it's on the DL for now. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> I want to know, uh, uh, I haven't really got, we haven't really talked about this with any other guests in detail too much, but like how you grew up, like as a kid, like what kind of kid so, were you? Were you, are you an only um, child? Are you one of 50? <laughs> no. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I gotta get this out the way first. Cause if any of my family watching is going to like say it, but I was a cry baby. I was a cry oh. baby. I, yeah, I was, I was, I was a cry baby. Um, Wait, very, what's your I sign? Very, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a Libra. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> so, it's okay. A Libra crybaby's fine. But if you was a Virgo crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, uh, I was, I mean, I was, I was shy. I grew up, um, my mother and my father have always been uh, separated since I was born. So, um, my dad and my stepmom have been together for, I would say, probably 25 years. And my dad and my, or my stepfather and my mom have been together for probably close to the same. Uh, if not, I think a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so they both had a child together. Both my younger siblings, I have a younger sister and a younger brother. Younger brother's on my mom's side. Uh, younger sister on my dad's side. And then both my stepparents had two children previous. And I have one biological brother, um, you may have seen him running around Coatesville, scruffy looking. He's like the unrefined version of me. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're been... all scruffy now during quarantine, so. <laughs> yeah, but he would, he would still stand out. <laughs> 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 no, that's, that's my guy. He's uh, we've been described as he's a sharpie and I'm a highlighter. So in the <laughs> he's, a little, <laughs> he's a little bit rough around the edges. Um, you know. But now nah, he's, he's an amazing guy, my brother, right? Um, but he's he's 18 months older than me. So I always had this guy right by my side, you know, my, my older brother. And then all these beloved siblings that I've had for, you know, I would say all my life. You know, I'm 32. So, you know, they've been together 26 years, a lot of time in that. Um, so they're not my stepbrothers and sisters. They're my brothers and sisters. And I there's like seven of us. If you were to add the families together. Like, like the Brady sm- Bunch. And I'm smack dab in the middle of that. Like, so I end up, I'm, I'm in the middle on both sides. And then when you put us all together, I'm still in the middle. It's a wow. really, <laughs> really interesting dynamic. But, um, nah, but yeah, so I grew up in big families. Um, you know, my mom, they're always the type to like, 
we'd all be leaving five of us in like a conversion van on a Saturday. We're like, come on, everybody's leaving. Go to the bathroom. And I'd be like, come out of the bathroom and the house would be empty and the car would be around, like not visible. So I think they just left me and it's like a family joke that they're playing that they... (laughs) Oh, they're yeah, pranksters. Yeah, circle the block, and then I was like, "Oh, you thought we were gonna leave you?" I was like, I'm "That's eight. traumatizing." <laughs> yeah, of course, I thought you were gonna leave me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah. So now, I, um, very, very loving, hardworking people. You know. Yeah, cool. Other than yeah. that, just you know, I was shy. Are they you always? Oh, oh, go ahead, Nicole. Oh no, sorry, sorry. There you go. There you go. The, the way you were describing um, just your love for visual arts earlier, how much it moves you, and what it evokes from you. Were you always a visual kid growing up and a teenager? Was was that was were you more a visual learner or was yeah, like? Yeah, I, I would say. I mean, I would say so. I as far as like seeing. So even now. If I can visualize the way that like I want a photo to look or a video or a design, whatever it is that I have to create, um, if I can see it up top, then like it's usually, in my opinion, it usually comes out a lot better, right? So we can all create nothing from something. If we had to scratch our head and play something to get some inspiration, but um, you know, if I can visualize how I want it to look, it's it's a lot easier for me. I feel like I've always been that way. When I was a kid, I was into like drawing and coloring and things like that. Um, had uh, a <laughs> don't do no alls or nothing. As a kid, I wanted to draw for MGM Studios. I wanted to draw cartoons for MGM Studios and Disney World had this whole thing. And my dad told me I wasn't a real job. Shout out to my dad. But <laughs> he, probably, he probably doesn't even remember that, if I'm being honest with you. He probably, it was like a blow in the wind to him. But I, I it stuck with me. So I was like, sorry, I changed my trajectory for a while. And I was like, all right, well, I like to draw. What if I'm an architect? And this is like a young teenager. And I'm <laughs> wow. Like, it's mad math in uh, architecture. And I'm like, I can count money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like currency math is usually where I'm maxed out. I don't need to do architecture yes, math. So, <laughs> <laughs> I can pay the bills. All right. Fine. Currency math. Know? I like that. <laughs> Put the math away until next week. But um but yeah, you know, so I've just you know so it sticks with me, you know. I try to make sure like my words with my daughters, you know. Not I like was no say, sh- yeah. Yeah, like but no, because it is something that I that I reflect on me, you know, I, I reflect on and it didn't hit me till later on. I think it takes I was actually uh you know, talking to my little brother about this, about like it takes time for us to kind of look back into ourselves. So at the time it was like, oh man, all right, I'll change my, my trajectory. You know, I'm going to change my, my mission, you know, but then, um, I always kind of floated circle back around to the arts growing up. All my friends like rapped and made music and like the creation and excitement of like a cypher being in a cypher, the only guy that can't rap in the cypher and just being like, oh my God, I love the energy that's happening right now. So I think the general creation you know, the thought of creation in general is just what, like, really gets my goat, you know? So drawing, doodling, you know, anything. My, you know, my daughter will take some kinetic sand and put it in this, like, Easter egg half and, like, put some little figurines and make a setting. And I'm like, dude, mind blown. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you, you saw this and just thought, if I put this with this and this together, I'm going to make a thing. And it's just, that's a beautiful thing to me. Mm-hmm. Your kids must be so artistic. My, yeah, I would, you know... My uh, my nine year old, she's she's definitely like she's at the point now where I'm like, what do you want to be? She says an artist, and I'm like, shut up, don't say that. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> yeah, like, get it out Aww. of here. You mean it? You serious right now? But <laughs> but yeah, now and then my you know my uh, my new she actually just turned three last week. My three year old, yeah, she's I think she's gonna be a comedian. If I'm being honest, yeah, I think she's creative <laughs> as well. But dude, she she knows like. Like social cues, she's like, like and she knows that like the rules of comedy. It's it's pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get her to an open mic when they back yeah. up. Yeah, she would crush it. Crush how's it. the quarantine going? I I mean it's going. It's um for me it's fine. You know I uh I don't mind being by myself. I- introvert. So, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Matter of fact, I don't know if you can see it. It's uh. <laughs> 
Introverted Leader Social Club. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did you get that? I want one. <laughs> I, I made it. Okay, I, I want to buy one. I got you. you. <laughs> I, I'll make one for you. You want? You want? Let me know if you want short sleeve or long sleeve. But yeah, I, uh, I'll let you know. It's a, it's a club of one, so <laughs> she's gonna slide into your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, yeah. So, so well, okay. Well, that makes me want. I still want to talk about your apparel company, but um, on the note of quarantine, you like has life not changed too much for you, or or has it, or um, so one of the, I had, so I had like one job left, if you will. I had, I was a, a salaried position at a company for 20 hours a week. Um, and that was where I really got my start to work independent. You know, I, I'm grateful for the relationships that I had with people that I met at that job because they, it really, um, it was like half a media studio. So we do graphic design and all the things that I did, but then we also managed, uh, a lacrosse business where we strong custom across pocket. So I was also getting firsthand on creating marketing, you know, mm-hmm. for, for them firsthand. So um, that job no longer exists, unfortunately, but um, I still have clients um, of my own. Um, I work, you know, um, I just, I, I love the transparency of like honest business. So I just try to shoot it straight. You know, I, I, um, I think I have a gift that I can help people with, not just in artistically, but how to make it make sense for business. Um, I, you know, I, I have a degree in business that I got many, many years ago. Um, so my early path of like careers was like management and marketing and things like that for companies. So then I, when I was able to make my own thing, it just kind of came full circle. I can do graphic design. I mean, any kind of printing to photography, to apparel, to now video commercials. I mean, I, I can service an entire thing, you know? So if you have an idea, like then we can run, you know? So, um, I mean, that, that, that part has slowed down for certain because if I can't go capture the content, then I can't create anything for you. Um, but as far as like the relationships still exist. Um, and then I had, I would say probably close to 40, maybe I would say probably 30, 30 some weddings this year. Um, and then I had a couple of them get pushed back. I think one canceled. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, but everything else got pushed back to the end of the year. So, Hopefully when they, when the outside opens back up fully, I can go out there and have some fun at some weddings. But, um, Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I I live a relatively simple life. I like my gadgets and things that create to make a living and make things easier and, and, you know, better. Uh, but other than that, you know, I, I'm a a modest guy. I don't have a a lot of fancy things or like, I don't go out often. I mean, ever really, I'm not like a Saturday night, let's go out guy because there's a lot of money. (laughs) And we're back. But we also yes. We, we also wanted to ask you about your clothing apparel company. You said you just recently released it do- during quarantine. That's another thing you've been doing during quarantine. So yeah, so that that's actually um my my personal brand um isn't released, and that's something I, I kind of shelved it a while ago. But um, what I did uh, partner of mine, uh, he's an amazing graphic designer. I actually met him through the studio I used to work for. Um, we started a t-shirt custom t-shirt company um really trying to streamline the custom t-shirt process for you know the everyday person uh we live in an age where people don't want to pick up a phone and like do a back and forth in email um being that i you know work in that field a lot of times it ends up being that and it doesn't necessarily have to and it can be a daunting process for um you know if i just wanted to get 30 shirts made for my party or my picnic or you know my say i'm a business owner and i just want to get shirts made for my staff and you know i don't have the i don't know i got this one picture on my logo i'm going to send it to you can you make a shirt out of it the answer is yes we can and we do it with very upfront pricing like i said transparency in business is like one of my favorite things so i don't try to shortchange. i mean i don't shortchange anybody i don't try to withhold any kind of secrets if i can do something to help you out i can uh, i will um the apparel itself is a thing that um, I take pride in because it gives me the ability to give someone an olive branch. Uh, for instance, a good friend of mine owns uh, his own business. And during this time, has seen some tough times because he hasn't been able to be open. Um, we teamed up on a t-shirt design. Uh, I, I gave him the, you know, my pricing that we offer. Uh, he turned around and, and was able to pay his rent with it. So uh, he sold the shirts and made the profit. Yeah, so there's still room for somebody else to go and do something. And, you know, I think that, that says a lot to, you know, to be able to have something 
that, that you can like give to somebody else to now go and, you know, earn with, you know? So, um, we, we came up with this it's actually, uh, your custom t-shirts.com real simple. Um, and, uh, the, our business is easy shirts. Uh, that's what it, I think it looks like that on, uh, on Facebook. I don't know, but the website is your custom t-shirts.com. Can't really get any easier than that. No. Um, and, uh, it's a, it's a work in progress, but it is available for, uh, for, folks to be able to use and, and at least do the simple processes now but there's elements on it that if there's something a little more complex that you want you don't see it available you can message us directly on it um, but that's really all it is is trying to streamline a process that is made to look and seem so daunting um, there's like uh, custom apparel is like one of those things where like there's all these fees baked into it you know like oh yeah it's only going to be $7.99 a shirt but then you got a $25 setup fee and a $25 cooling fee and we got a shelter for five. Yeah. You know, it's just, so it's, you know, eliminating all that, you know, because all that is, is just added profit. We know where we need to be and we want to be able to help people out. So uh, that's where that business came from. And yeah, we started it during quarantine. Uh, I think like week two, I think we filed for the LLC and we're, we're good to go now. And we actually awesome. got the website up. Yeah. So. Wow. Um, that's, yeah, that's, I'll tell you the the, uh, the secret, the secret to like your own successes, and I know both of you ladies know this is just actually doing it, mm-hmm. going to doing the things. Like I, you know, Nicole, I'd be fair in saying that when you have to go do a show, there's a party that's like I'd rather just chill on this bed and like not go somewhere, oh, even though yes. you love. Me. <laughs> See what I mean? So <laughs> yes. you know, that, that uh, you know, like the um, it's uh, yeah, I, I we all live with that, you know. So yeah, I was gonna ask you about your demons. No. <laughs> oh yeah, God. no, I um, I, I, I my my biggest downfall is like I'm I'm a I can I can sell a thing that I'm passionate about, and I really like to not do anything, even though I'm such a motivated person. If that makes any sense, no. I would I'll be going to a thing that I want to go to, but I'm still thinking about can't wait to kick these shoes off when I get back in the house to my own I'm space. I'm literally the same. I totally understand. <laughs> you know, yes. so. That, you know, that, and I think it's very easy for us as humans to be safe in that comfort. And like, I think what I've done successfully in the past, I don't know, seven years is I, I would say my life changed probably five years ago when my life started to change more on like my career and life blending as one and mm-hmm. just being like doing things that, that make me feel good. Um, but one of the secret elements to that is you got to do it. And you'd be like, it, it feels so good afterwards. It feels so good. But like, I, you know, I, it, the, because there's always opportunity and you always like, we do the things, we practice these things. So when the game comes and you, you don't go to the game, it don't make any sense. You know what I mean? So you do all this time practice. And when the game comes, you can be nervous, you can be reluctant, but you got to go do it. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it always pays off. Even if you go and you farmed it. I've left in my early days, I've left, I left a video shoot without any video experience several years ago that I got paid for in New York City and I had to drive home from New York City like I ruined this person's money. And luckily when I got home, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I was able to make something quality. But the that feeling of being like, and, but that was all part of my process. That mm-hmm. all helped me get better because next time I went, I wasn't making the same mistake. Yeah. You know, and if I, if I was, I shouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like you got to push through the uncomfortable zone when I'm when I'm uncomfortable is when I've grown the most. And, you know, I would say it's especially hard being somebody that I don't work well in, in public situations. I get like, you know, I could be the, the center of attention in a room or I could be like, I'm going to hide over here and drink this water. You know what I mean? It's, so it's just like, you know, you, you know, two two edges of it, you know, but being the uncomfortable thing, there ain't no money here where I'm comfortable. You know, and it's like, uh, it's like, a, like an old fortune cookie thing of like you know, <laughs> a, a ship, at, a ship at Harbor is safe. Right. But that's not why ships were built. You know, it's, mm. Ooh, I haven't heard you know. that one. Hey, hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> My fortune cookies are lame. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the premium food and then you get the good cookies. Huh? <laughs> I got to upgrade. <laughs> Oh, that's really Zach good. with the knowledge. Like, wow. <laughs> You've shared a lot of golden nuggets today. I know. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm, thank you. I'm about to have a kid and I just feel like I have to ask, but do you have any, uh, you know, 
until you know advice for me <laughs> yeah for sure um it could be anything uh, <laughs> i uh I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to think of the the core things because I got two two completely different ages, and I, I'm you know I'm far from a perfect guy, but I think the biggest thing with me that I learned from like my own childhood into being a father was uh, consistency. You know, um, no matter what it is, at any magnitude, as long as I'm consistent. If this is a thing that we don't do, then we don't do that. You know, um, it's not a thing that like oh it's fine this time, but the next time it's not. And the same goes for the way that we communicate. Um, you know, even my my three year old, I'm able to say like, she you know she falls and bangs her knee. I think that hurts. It's worth a tear or two, you know. But like, we we talk it out and we say, um, "Are you bleeding? No, you're not bleeding, right? Daddy kissed it. It's all good. It's a thing that psychologically makes it okay for you." So I did that part. So now the only thing now is to let's move on, you know. And we're allowed to be upset and we're allowed to be sad. Um, but being able to, to be fluid in those emotions and those things and try to be consistent in those teachings, you know, I, I'm, I think about the, maybe to a crazy level, but I think about the, the lines down the road, you know, being like, if I do this now, does it make this? And, you know, don't put too much weight on things, but just be consistent. You know, I, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really, I, love that. I, 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 just, love I just try that. to stay on that same path that resonates with me as an adult even like I feel I went to to um, France to visit these kids I used to nanny um, in December and um, they just they've had to be learn how to go back to school and be bilingual right and like it was it's hard like I went over there and I was like I could not do what these three teenagers are doing <laughs> and they're crying to me and they're saying this is horrible and it was so funny because I had such a, a kind of, I want to say kind of a, an American moment because I was like, well, can't you talk to your teacher and like <laughs> can't you get out of it or like, right. you know, and then that, and I'm hearing myself talk and I'm like, I think that that's something that doesn't happen often right now. We're so, we're so um, instantaneously gratified in so many ways like we you know like you're saying take a photo we put it out we get we get class right. you know um yeah. that it we met, we feel so uncomfortable when things are uncomfortable like right. but if you learn from an early age like no you're going to skin your knee no like there's going to be pandemics because right. we're we don't we don't know how to deal with them or whatever um then it's not as anxiety causing, you know, or whatever. It still will hurt and it still will be uncomfortable, but that's okay. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. But, so and, I, awesome I, uh, that. and I, I, um, like I have friends that joke like, you know, we don't need to hear the positive perspective, man. We don't, sometimes we just want to be like, <laughs> we just want to be mad about a thing. And it's like, you know, but like I, it, when I learned, about that because I, I haven't always been that way like i said i was a crybaby as a kid you know and <laughs> uh, you know it, it takes being by yourself to like reflect and you know the trials and tribulations of life to look on and the people you meet you know and and to to really discover that fluidity and i try to preach it often to like the people that i care about because it was such a valuable thing to me like the laws of duality gave me so much peace that like mm -hmm when things are bad they will be okay and even though they're okay don't get too excited because they'll get bad again but the beauty in that is that it's all temporary mm -hmm. so even in our longest time right you live to be 96 years old it's still temporary in the grand scheme so the the truth that all things are temporary is very comforting um and and you know trying to teach my my children that you know, I, I tell my, my older daughter, I've always told her, like, no more than yes. And I tell her no, even when she, I know she can have the thing. I'll, I'll just circle back and be like, hey, you still want that thing? But the world isn't going to give you the things when you ask them for the things. The universe doesn't happen that way. Everything I wanted ever of value has always taken time. So it's just like, wow. if I can give her these gems now, you know, she's by, by 20 years old, she's going to understand when her friends are melting down because a thing didn't happen the way it was supposed to. She's gonna be like, but look, it's gonna be like this next week and you'll be able to find the blah, 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 or that thing wasn't for you. And when it does, it'll be the right thing. And she'll have all this 
so you know consistency in the knowledge too so yeah that's Damn. parenting you mean like a parenting counselor too <laughs> 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 oh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate both. We could of talk you. forever. Yeah, if I just we should. If I just get created. Yeah. We'll just open it up. We'll just have Tough a conversation. Let's call in. No, honestly, I'm I'm honored. I love what you ladies are doing um, with the podcast and outside of it. Both of you have. Uh, amazing talent um and i'm i'm honored to know you I'm, I'm grateful that you thought it was important to come talk to me so thank you very much yes. i appreciate it and we're gonna have one day i mean p- part of this was like connecting everyone in real life so right one day we will have a party or something uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I look forward On to it porch. <laughs> <laughs> i look forward to it nicole let me know your size so i can get you one of these shirts oh my god okay i'll message you <laughs> all right sounds good all right. Thank you, Zach. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs>